In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear bumper cover on this Nissan Altima. This is mounted directly to the rear of your vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay, friend, let's get started on our job. Pop the trunk. Make your way inside the trunk. We're going to have to remove each one of the tail lamp assemblies. To do that, along each side of the vehicle, you're going to find that you have several push clips holding your insulation in place. We only need to remove enough that we can pull this away to gain access to our wiring harnesses and mounting nuts. To remove your push clips, carefully use a trim tool, remove the center of each one of the push clips, and then you can remove the outer portion once it's unlocked. A quick inspection and we'll set that aside. Now we can take hold of this, carefully start pulling it down and away. Now we have access to our electrical connector here. You'll find that it has a locking tab in the center. Depress the locking tab and separate the electrical connector. You could use your finger or a small screwdriver if needed. Let's use my pocket screwdriver for this. Give each end a quick inspect for corrosion. Assuming it looks good, we can set this aside. Continue on to this rubber grommet. Carefully start pressing that through the body of the vehicle. Be careful for any pinch points. Now we can remove our two 8mm headed mounting nuts. Now let's continue on with a plastic trim tool. We'll separate the tail lamp assembly from the body of the vehicle. When doing so, we need to pull this straight rearward, not off to one side or the other. Go over here. Remove your tail lamp assembly. We'll set this aside and do the exact same thing to the other tail lamp assembly. Once you have both of the tail lamps out of the vehicle, continue on inside the tail lamp housing area. You'll find that you have two push clips and one 10 millimeter headed bolt for each side. We are going to leave each of the 10 millimeter headed bolts in place, but remove each of the push clips for now. Use a trim tool or a small screwdriver, carefully pull out the center and remove the outer portion as well. Just give that a quick inspection. We'll do the same on the other side of the vehicle. Now inside of the rear wheel well, where the bumper cover connects onto the body of the vehicle, you're going to find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt on each side of the bumper cover. We'll remove those. Once you have that 10 millimeter bolt out of there, continue following this down along the bottom. You're going to find two push clips for each side of the vehicle. These are the two push clips that we will be removing from each side. Use our trim tool for this. Ours are pretty packed with dirt. It's pretty common for them to break. Now that we have movement from this side of the vehicle, we'll do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. With both sides dislodged, we'll make our way underneath the center of the rear bumper cover. You're going to find that you have two push clips holding this in place. We'll remove the pair. With both of those out of there, we'll take hold of the rear bumper cover, give it a little tug straight rearward. At this point, we're ready to start dislodging the rear bumper cover from the body of the vehicle. To do this, carefully take hold of it and gently tug it away from the body of the vehicle. This should flex just enough that we can make our way to our final mounting bolts. We're going to do the same on each side of the vehicle. Once you have it tugged away, remove your 10 millimeter headed bolt. But keep in mind, these 10 millimeter headed bolts are the last things holding the bumper cover to the vehicle.
With all that separated, we'll take hold of the bumper cover and give it a straight tug rearward. Remove it from the vehicle. All right, let's get ready to install our bumper cover on the vehicle. As we take this and start putting it in position, be extremely careful for the paint on your fenders. We'll press the center in, align our 10 millimeter headed mounting bolts up along the top area here. Start in each of those two 10 millimeter headed bolts. Let's snug this up. Same on the other side of the vehicle. Let's start aligning this along the fender. Now we can put in our two push clips on each side. Same on the other side of the vehicle. Back in the fender well, we'll continue with our two 10 millimeter headed bolts, one for each side. Double check to make sure this is secure. Underneath the bumper cover, we'll continue on with our four push clips, two on each side. Press this in. Under the center, we'll continue on with our two push clips. Now we can get ready to install our tail lamp assemblies. The process for one will be the same for each. Looking at the backside here, you can tell that we have the mounting studs for those mounting nuts. We also have two locating studs. And then in this area here, we have a horseshoe looking clip. If you were to look at the body of the vehicle, you're going to find all of those same mounting points. We need to make sure everything aligns as it needs to be. While we're bringing this in position, let's make sure we take this wiring harness and slide it through the hole. We'll take this rubber grommet and press it into position. It's important to make sure that this is a good seal so no moisture makes its way into the trunk. There we are, we'll just double check that. Now we can take this and start putting it in position. Keep in mind this has to get pressed straight forward so we want to make sure that everything's aligned before we press it in. Double check all of your body seams. We want to ensure that it's completely mounted all the way around. Assuming this looks good, let's make our way back into the trunk. Start on each of your two eight millimeter headed mounting nuts, snug them up. Make your way into the wiring harness. We'll connect this in. Listen for a click, double check to make sure it's completely secure. Now we can take this and we'll slide it into position. This lower area here goes underneath the trim panel. And now we'll just continue on by bringing this across. Once you feel as though you have that in the proper position, continue on with your locking push clips. Do the same on the other side of the vehicle. Okay friends, once you have the other side tail lamp in, go ahead and close the trunk. Double check to make sure everything's seated properly. This looks perfect. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.